Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to change the color profile and the water flow in the tank with a click of a button using an Apex controller. So what you will need for this tutorial is an Apex and you're going to need some uh, lights uh, and power heads that talk to the Apex either wirelessly or uh, through a hardwired connection. So for me I run uh, two MP10s for uh, circulation and I have three uh, uh, Radeon uh, XR15s for lights and I'm gonna give you a demo uh, today to show you how I could uh, with the click of a button uh, create a standing wave and uh, switch my colors from a typically more blue spectrum into a more white spectrum alright let's get started okay here's the default view of uh, the Apex uh, Neptune system and you can see all of my equipment that are listed here. I have my MP10s and my Radeons. And the MP10s are actually running a regular schedule that uh, varies the speed of the pump as well as the mode of the pump throughout the day. Uh, so my other MP10 also has a similar schedule. And uh, I'm going to just uh, go back here. And I'm going to show you my lights. So the lights are also running uh, the SPS AB plus program throughout the day. So they're, they're already kind of programmed to change their, uh, the light spectrum over the day. But it's so good to be able to switch out of this default program to do something specific. And this is what I'm going to show you by using virtual outputs as well as different profiles for your Ecotech equipment. So we're going to go ahead and create a custom program that will change the lights and the flow in the tank with a click of a button. So the first thing we need to do, uh, to do is to go to uh, the output uh, button on the, top, uh, on the top menu of the Apex. So it's that little button that has uh, looks like an outlet. And if you click that, essentially uh, these are all the physical bits of equipment you have in your tank but you could also create virtual outlets. And these virtual outlets or outputs uh, are not real physical bits of equipment, uh, but they, they're a virtual bit of equipment that you could turn on and off. And by turning them on and off, you could execute, execute some specific code. So I'm gonna name uh, this uh, virtual output uh, Showtime because I want to be able to hit that button and, and have some really nice uh, flow effects as well as uh, a, a pleasing spectrum uh, to look at the tank with. So you click OK after creating a virtual outfit and, and here you see on the bottom here you have the new outlet that we created. Actually it's not on the bottom. Uh, where is it? Uh, I think... Yeah, you had to uh, click the refresh button and there it is, the virtual output we just created called Showtime. And if you click on it, it will kind of show you the code that's associated with that virtual output. So right now it's just set to off. That means uh, by default, uh, this uh, virtual outlet called Showtime is going to be off in the off position. And you could change this, but I actually keep it as set off because you want it to be set off and you want to essentially enable the custom program when you click the button on and then disable it again when you go on automatic or turn it off. So after creating this new uh, output, if we go back to uh, the main menu, you'll see that we have a new tile uh, up on the highlighted icon up top here. If you click on that, you will access all of your uh, equipment and buttons that you've uh, that, uh, have been set up on the Apex and you'll see that we have a new button now called Showtime. And I'm just going to drag it over here and now this is the virtual output that we just created so we could uh, you know we could click on or off or set it to auto. Right now it does nothing because there is no code associated with that but we're all set up to actually start writing code that will tie in this button that we just created with actual um, uh, with actual uh, changes in the color spectrum as well as uh, the flow within the tank. Okay, so after creating our virtual output, we're going to go to the profiles menu and you could access that from the top icon there. And these are all the profiles that you could set your uh, smart equipment that the Apex is controlling. 
So you'll notice I already have a couple of profiles uh, for my Radeon and Vortex setup, but we're going to create a new one. Uh, so you just click on any of the uh, profiles that are not currently used, so PF10, and when you click on it, you could modify it. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this into a Radeon profile. So you go to type and you click uh, Radeon. Uh, so you scroll down to Radeon and you'll see that now you're able to set the intensities of the colors of the Radeon equipment that is connected to the Apex. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some uh, intensities that I know will essentially have a lot of blues, all of the blues on, but with a little bit of white colors. Uh, and I find that that spectrum is, uh, is um, a really nice spectrum to view the tank uh, because you, you're, you're seeing some of uh, the reds and, and some of the greens that you don't typically see uh, when you have all of your lights set to blue. So once you're done entering in the, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm setting the intensity of this uh, to 50%. And ramp time here, that means zero, that means it's not gonna ramp up or ramp down when I start the light. And I'm gonna call this pro profile uh, white light. Uh, and it's not fully white, but it's, it's, more, uh, it's got more white than uh, I typically run. And then you update, so essentially you're sending this information to the apex. And now we have a new profile called white light. And I'm gonna go back to uh, the profile menu and I'm gonna make another profile for my vortex. So you see this is the white light uh, profile we created for uh, the lights. So I'm gonna pick a different profile now and I'm gonna make that profile create a standing wave in my tank uh, by controlling my vortex pumps. So from the type you create vortex and uh, I'm gonna give this name uh, name the profile called wave and under the configuration of the vortex I'm gonna set it to um, short pulse I believe or pulse uh, which is short pulse on the vortex and you have to specify the power and the intensity uh, sorry the timing of the pulse so how, how often it's gonna oscillate the pump is gonna oscillate from being turned on and off and so I worked out before that uh, the best uh, duration of the pulse is 0.62 seconds. And I'm gonna run this, sorry, uh, yeah, 0.62 seconds. I'm gonna run this, I think at 80%, uh, run the vortex at uh, 80%. So once that's set, I'm going to uh, press that cloud button to uh, add this information to the apex. And voila, so this profile is now up on the apex and if you go back now you see that I have my uh, wave profile for to control the vortex uh, so that's ready to go and my white light profile to co control the radions all right so the next step is now you go you want to go to every single bit of equipment that you want to control and we're going to add some bit of code to link the button show time to the change in the profiles that we just created so I'm going to the vortex, and you want to click on the top menu uh, up there to create an, uh, to click on the basic view button, and that button essentially shows you all the code that is used to uh, to control your equipment. So uh, just ignore all of the lines that you have here. And what I want you to do is add a new line, and we're going to use an if statement. Uh, and if statements are very powerful and they have a, a very simple kind of syntax. If something is true, perform an action. So uh, as, I start, uh, as I start writing here, you see that there's a very handy autocomplete feature. So it's uh, telling you what to complete what you're actually writing in the proper syntax. So what I wanna say is if output, and I would have to give the output a name. So my output is called showtime. That's the button, that, the virtual output that we created. So I, I wanna say if output showtime, and there you can see there is a complete feature here, uh, is equal to on. That means if I press the showtime button, then, and so here I, you have to watch your syntax here, then I wanna, put the wave profile on my mp10 so i'm going to say then and the name of the profile that i want to uh, uh, have take over the, uh, the vortex now 
So it's if output show time equals on, then wave. So that's the kind of the simple uh, line of code that you need to write, such that whenever I, you click the output show time, uh, the profile of the vortex will be turned into a wave. So I just copied this and I'm going to upload this information to uh, uh, the Apex. And yeah, there we upload it. I'm going to go back and essentially I'm going to write this bit of code in my other MP10. So I have two MP10s and I have to have that line in both of them so that way uh, I will change both the behavior of both pumps when I click the show time button. So again, I'm going to go to basic view here and I'm going to copy and paste uh, the line that I just wrote. If output show time is on equals on, then wave. So again, just very simple control statement. And I have to uh, upload that information to the Ecotech by clicking that cloud button, sorry, to the Apex. And that's done. So I have to now do something similar to the lights, but instead of changing it to the wave, I have to, I'm gonna change them to the white light profile. So I'm gonna go to Radeon Light, uh, Radeon Right, and to the basic view. And again, ignore all of the information that's come from, that comes from your regular schedule. And I'm gonna write a similar if, if statement here. So if outlet out, uh, output show time equals on. So if show time button is on, then, and the profile name is white light. So if I turn on the showtime button, then it turns the profile into the white light profile that uh, I've set uh, just a couple of minutes ago. And I have to uh, upload that to uh, the Apex, uh, but first I'm gonna copy it. And there it goes to the cloud. And you click OK, we go back. And uh, I'm going to do this to my second uh, light. I have three lights and all of them I want them to run, run that code. So I'm going to paste that line, uplink to the cloud. And I'm going to go back to my final light, the last radions. And I'm going to uh, go to basic view again and I'm going to copy and paste that line. And that's it. So now the vortex have a line that controls them if the show time button is pressed and the radions have a line uh, that uh, changes their behavior whenever the show time button is pressed. So we're all set to go. All right, let's give this a try. So here's a tank with the blue lights and then I'm gonna click the on button for show time and there we go so you see that all radions have switched color to the more white spectrum and you're starting to notice this uh, standing wave in the tank now so both the vortex uh, and the radions have responded to uh, the click of the on button and this will you know keep on going uh, for as long as you want so um, if you click uh, the auto or off button then we go back to the regular schedule Okay guys, that's it for the tutorial. So, uh, you know, this was just a very quick flavor on what you could do. There, there is lots of uh, other ways to make your programs more complicated. You could set timers, uh, you could do lots of fantastic things, but I, I just find this feature of uh, controlling mar multiple equipment with the same uh, button uh, to be super helpful. Uh, you know, back in the old days, I had to like unplug and plug different pieces of equipment and that was just uh, you know not ideal uh, one of my favorite uh, programs uh, that I have is a, a program called fo a virtual output called photo and it's what I use when I want to take pictures of video in my tank so I'm gonna demo it here essentially you press the photo button and it switches the colors to uh, a 12k spectrum which is great for taking pictures and you'll notice that it shuts off the return pump as well as oil circulations in the tank. So we're able to uh, take very good pictures top down without getting any ripple effects. And again, when you're done taking pictures, you press off, the lights go back to normal, 
the return pump kicks back on uh, and uh, and the vector uh, the vector pumps uh, kick on uh, again and I also I have a line of code in there that when my return pump goes off it also turns off the skimmer and my ADO so very very useful things that you could use to uh, get more out of your uh, uh, smart wireless equipment okay guys Thank you so much for watching, uh, please uh, like, comment and subscribe.